Hello, today we're going to be walking you through how to enroll employees to a hand reader. Now if the hand reader is new, there will not be any employees or supervisors set up and you will need to enroll a supervisor before enrolling employees. So the way you do this is you're going to press clear then enter. It's going to say enter password. You'll use the number four and the enter button. Now you need to be quick with these two steps because it will time out quickly uh, if you don't. So clear, enter, enter password, four, and then enter. That brings us to our screen, add employee. No, at this time we're going to add a supervisor first. So we press no. It asks us to add a supervisor. We're going to press yes. It wants our badge number or card ID. So we're going to input that and then press enter. It's asking us to place our hand and we can see that there's lights up here around the pins where an employee is going to squeeze their fingers in order to turn those pins off. So to place hand, we place our hand inside the reader and we clasp our fingers around the pins. And you see, while I'm doing that, the lights will go out. And it enrolled me because I put it in several times in there. So now it's asking add supervisor, no, yes. I'm just gonna clear out of this screen and now we'll show you how to enroll an employee. The supervisor will approach the clock, press clear then enter. We see it comes to a star colon. They're gonna press their badge number and press enter. And now it's asking for their hand to validate that they are a supervisor. Now they get the enter password and the number four and enter. And remember, you have to be quick with that four and enter or it will time out and you'll have to start back over from the beginning. Once you're on this screen, you have time to be able to go back and forth, but that four and enter needs to be quick. So we want to add an employee. We're gonna press yes. We're gonna place a number for the badge number for the employee and press enter. I recommend the supervisor enters the number as the supervisor should know what number their badge number is based on the badge number in the software. Um, if you leave it to the employee, they may enter the last four of uh, their address, their phone number, or any other number that doesn't match the software. If that happens, then uh, the employee's punches will not come into the software as expected. So add employee, yes. One, two, three, four press enter, place the hand, the lights go out, remove hand, place hand, remove hand, and one more time, user enrolled. If the employee does not press their fingers correctly against the pins or has trouble while in here, they may be asked to place it an additional time or two so that the reader can get a good idea of the size and shape of their hand. We go ahead and press clear, and that brings us right back to the screen where the employees are ready to clock in or out. As an employee, I would come up and just press my number, press enter. It's asking to me to place my hand. I get a green light, and down here it said score. We'll do that again. Place hand, score is two. Because the employees typically watch a display rather than any lights, uh, it's important to note that if they do get score, then that is an indicator that the clock accepted their punch. Uh, the number that you see, on that case I had a number two, that number it presents is how well the hand matches up to the template on file. The lower number, the better is, is usually uh, what is best. That's the, it means it's a closer match to the hand that's in, on file. This clock will recognize the day-to-day -day changes in employees' hands. Um, so as they're losing weight, gaining weight, things like that, uh, it stores that in memory and keeps that to make it easier for the employee to clock in and out without having to be re-enrolled. Now, if it comes up that you need to remove somebody, maybe they're putting their number in their hand in and it's not recognizing them. 
so we want to remove them from the clock. So we're going to put clear, then enter, enter ID. We put our supervisor number in. We place our supervisor hand, enter password, again, the number four, and enter. Add employee, no, yes, no, we don't want to add. Add supervisor, no, yes, no, we don't want to add a supervisor. Remove user. So right here, we're going to press yes. Remove ID number, one, two, three, four. Uh, if the clock was programmed to only have four digits, then this would immediately come back and say, user removed, remove ID again. Uh, but it's basically removed the ID, and it's asking, do you want to remove another? Uh, at this point, we do not, so we press clear. And remove user, no. And we're back to add employee, so at this point, we could re-add that employee back into the clock. We would press yes, enter their badge number, and press enter. And then they would place their hand three times, paying attention to the display, asking them to place hand and remove hand, and making sure all the lights go out when they do place their hand in the clock. At this point, the employee has been re-added, and we can clear out. The employee can clock in, enter, place hand, and I see my score. i seen my green light appear up here. I'm clocked in. I can continue about my day.